Welcome to St. Charles Catholic Church, the Liturgy of the Word for the Sunday Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we gather around the lectern to reflect and to listen to God's Word. God speaking to you and to me. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. At that time shall arise Michael, the great prince who has charge of your people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never has been since there was a nation till that time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn away to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. For in you I take refuge. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup, you yourself who secure my lot. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad, even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, bliss forever. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. The second reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every priest stands daily at his service, offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God then to wait until his enemies should be made a stool for his feet. For by a single offering, he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Watch at all times, praying that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after death, tribulation, 
the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the son of man coming in clouds with great power and glory and then he will send out the angels and gathers his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven from the fig tree learn its lesson as soon as its branches become tender and puts forth its leaves you know that summer is near so also when you see these things taking place you know that it is near at the very gates truly i say to you this generation will not pass away before all these things take place heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away but of that day or that hour no one knows not even the angels in heaven nor the son but only the father the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ the readings very much doom and gloom speaks about the end of time the important thing is not to worry so much when but the important thing is to live one's life to the fullest to enjoy the gift of life to enjoy the gift of family and friends and do and say the things that you want to say to one another because we just don't know the hour when the lord will come none of us know but as I said, it's not important to know the hour when. The important thing is what God wants you and me is to live one's life to the fullest. And when the time comes, we can say, yes, Lord, we had a wonderful time among your people, sharing and helping and assisting and being together. To all of you, God's blessings as you continue your journey. Let us turn to God, our Father, in confidence that he will provide for all our needs. We pray for the church that all Christ's faithful people will commit themselves to bringing his light to the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear for all those in government, that they will always strive to protect the dignity of human life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the poor, hungry, and neglected, that their cries for daily bread may inspire works of compassion and mercy among those to whom much has been given. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For parishioners writing exams at this time, that their hearts and minds may be touched with a sense of the Lord's presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our parish community, that we may be always ready to hear God's word, do God's will, and face God's judgment. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the sick, the suffering, and the housebound, that through our caring they may know the healing touch of God's love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have died, that they may enjoy their eternal reward with Christ in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, you know each one of us and all our needs. Forgive our failings, keep us in your peace, and lead us in the way of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father Tony extends his gratitude for the generosity of the parish through this trying time. 
We respect that many parishioners are struggling financially. If you are able to contribute to the parish, please do so by EFT. And together as a community, as a family, we pray that beautiful prayer which our Lord Jesus Christ gave us as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, I do encourage all of you to start returning back for Mass. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God continue blessing all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Liturgy of the Word comes to conclusion. We go in the peace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell icon. You will be notified of future updates.